So the key there, number one, is to put the book in the right category. What if writing a book is not just a way to transform the lives of many people, but also a way to create financial freedom and leave a legacy? Wouldn't you want to find out just how to do that? Well, that's what this show is all about. Hi, I'm Henneke Wodkiss, Porter speaker, coach, author of Podcast Power and the host of the Entrepreneurial You podcast, inviting you to listen to the Entrepreneur Secrets podcast brought to you by C. Ruth Taylor, best selling in the author and the Caribbean's most trusted voice on entrepreneurship. Tune in for inspiration, information and innovation to write and win with books. Get ready to dominate entrepreneurship. Greetings, entrepreneurs. Welcome to episode 48 of the Entrepreneur Secrets Podcast. I'm your host, C. Ruth Taylor, and this is a show that gives you the roadmap to take charge of your publishing and the stories and strategies to dominate entrepreneurship. Coming up in today's show, it's a solo show, but I'm going to be sharing on something exciting that I know that many independent authors uh, want to know about. It's the secrets of becoming an Amazon best selling author. So I shared five tips on LinkedIn, and many persons were appreciative of those tips that I've used. And I thought, why not just turn this into a podcast episode? So it's going to be a solo show today. So you want to stay tuned for that. I'm excited as well because we are like four episodes away from the one year mark that is producing 52 episodes or podcasting consistently for 52 weeks. I have not missed a week. <laughs> And I'm excited about that because I remember when I was thinking about podcasting, the number one thing I thought about was, would I be consistent? And what helped me was some time ago, I was watching this YouTube channel with a young man by the name of Roberta Blake, and that's a create something awesome podcaster and he has a YouTube channel and he talked about you know what it takes to do really well and that we should do 100 scrappy videos and so I I was always doing videos but I, I put myself on a challenge for my 40th birthday that I would do 100 videos and I would do videos each week leading up to my birthday I was doing them seven days a week until that was too much and then I went to maybe twice a week and uh, that gave me practice for this so much so that sometimes when I started hosting online events persons were saying Ruth you sound like a pro are you into broadcasting <laughs> and I was like no but it was just the consistency and I'm so grateful that uh, in another four episodes we would have been having the show for one entire year all right so as usual if you're new on this show the show is intended to help you to take charge of your publishing especially for authors in the caribbean and its diaspora we want to show you the tips and tricks to make publishing more affordably or to publish without breaking the bank without going into debt and the show is based on my book entrepreneur secrets which speaks about writing fast generating lasting income and so all of that for us is part of entrepreneurship it's an author who is building book-based initiatives programs and services and not just depending on book sales to profit and so you want to increase your impact and income and uh, this show is sponsored by Bamboo Sparks. Your book is the perfect spark to get the fire going in your personal life, business, career, or ministry. And uh, 
We want to encourage you to light that spark today with Bamboo Sparks, a global independent publishing services and publishing education and training business for transformation. Bamboo Sparks will take you from manuscript to market faster than you thought possible and even manage the process for you. Find out how Bamboo Sparks can help you to write, publish, and leverage your book to grow 90 feet tall at bamboosparks.com. And that's bamboo with a U. And so I want you to go over to that website and check out the services. If you want to manage the process yourself, truly self-publish, and you're looking for a publishing service provider to, to help you with the different parts like the editing or get you an ISBN or format the book for you or do the cover design, Bamboo Spark offers that with their offering called the Self-Publishing Spark. And if you don't want to manage the process yourself. They have several Bamboo Sparks management deals, which are their done for you deals. And you can check it out at www.bamboosparks.com. And that's Bamboo with a U. All right. So I want to share with you a resource to win before I get into the Amazon tip. So the show is about equipping you to take charge. And if you are doing your book covers or dialoguing with your graphic artists, we know many times uh, you have a friend who perhaps want to help you out or they're a professional graphic designer, but doing a cover for the first time. Where do you go to get that barcode and what is that barcode? So the barcode is that code that is generated from the ISBN for your print book or your um, paperback or hardcover book. And it usually goes on the back of the cover. Uh, sometimes I see for like jacket covers, it goes in the center, but most time it is on the right hand side. Um, at the bottom, right? And uh, Dave Chesson, one of my favorite um, in the publishing industry, his site, kindlepreneur.com, they have a barcode generator and it is free. And so you can go there, put in the ISBN number if you want pricing in it, and you can download the barcode either in PNG or JPEG. And then you can put it on the book. Now, also KDP, when you're uploading it, if you don't have a barcode and you just leave the space that is provided, there are specific dimensions for that, they will upload a barcode for you. But I find if you want to print up books locally through another printer, then that won't help you to leave the space blank. So might as well just put the barcode on it, upload it so that if you want to, to print away from Amazon or do local printing, then that is all set. So that's the resource to win for today. Go to kindlepreneur.com and look for the barcode generator, free barcode generator. I'll put the link in the show notes. In terms of my entrepreneurship ventures, <laughs> well, we just concluded last week the publishing boot camp. And now we're working to certify through Bamboo Sparks, um, Bamboo Sparks first uh, certified publishing coach. And so after you've done the boot camp, then you can take on the 90 day publishing challenge where you implement that which you were taught under the guidance of Bamboo Sparks. And I'm the chief publishing consultant at Bamboo Sparks. And I work with you to implement that process. So we're doing that. And uh, we are about to take our second intake of the teens in our learn and earn publishing program done through the design to win academy which which 
has been acquired by Bamboo Sparks. And I'm again going to be the main teacher. I am the CEO of Bamboo Sparks, full disclosure. And so we are doing the orientation this Thursday. We still have time if you want to apply and get your teen in the program, go to designtoinacademy.com and click register. So the orientation is this Thursday. It's going to be at 5 p.m. Central on Zoom. Already we have at least three teens who are showing interest in the program. Now, why is that an entrepreneurship venture? Well, it has emerged out of my book, Design to Win Roadmap. Now, that is an entire series, but the Design to Win Young Achievers Roadmap was actually published by some teenagers last year working with me. It was formatted by them, the illustrations by them. And with this program, what we're doing, we're helping teenagers, positioning them for early career success through book publishing and marketing and having them work with authors to publish and market their books. And it's also part of their personal development. So they're going to be doing, um, designing their winning future. They're going to learn how to manage their money. They're going to be planning for their future and learning the skills and earning while in the program. To find out more, as I said, go to designtoinacademy.com. And so I'm really, 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 really excited about that. And that's the latest in terms of my authorpreneurship ventures. Now let's get to the juicy part that you're interested in, which are the tips in becoming an Amazon bestseller. Now, this is something that I wanted and I saw people doing it and for two years, it seemed as if it wasn't happening when in fact I had been an Amazon bestselling author. I had made their, their list and I was on that list for months <laughs> and I did not know because I didn't understand the process. No, I don't want that to happen to you. So I'm going to break it down for you. No, to become an Amazon best-selling author. There are two categories. There is a bestseller category that Amazon changes every hour, right? So once the book is released, depending on the number of sales and the category you place your book in, and you can place your book in up to 10 categories. You get three initially, two when you are um, uploading the book, and then they add another one. So on your page there, the book publishing page there in the Amazon store, you will see different categories. If your book gets in the top 100, then you would have made that bestseller list. And then when you click on the, the book and you go there, you would see a yellow number. So the top 100, and it can be in new releases and things like that. So the key there, number one, is to put the book in the right category. Now, you can look at other categories of other bestsellers if you're unfamiliar with categories. But in every book is put in categories and you have subcategories and genres. And I think Amazon has over 10,000 categories. And I'm going to do another show on that to talk about Amazon categories <laughs> and uh, how to know which category to place your book in. I think I'm going to do another show on that. But a good tool to help you to determine the category is one, again, produced by my guy there, Dave Ch Chesson. It's called Publisher Rocket. Publisher Rocket will tell you how many books you need to sell to make it to the top 10, how many books you need to sell to make it in the top 100, what are the categories that are making the most money, and what are the keywords that people are looking for. So if you are able to access this tool, then you are already ahead of the game. So check out Publisher Rocket. So you want to place it in the right category. A trick is to make sure your book is in a category 
that is not heavily populated. Because if it's not heavily populated, it's going to be easier to top that chart. It's like a race. If you have five people in the race versus 10 people, it's easier to end up in the top three. <laughs> so it's the same thing. So you don't want to try to beat the system or cheat the system. Make sure the category that you're putting your book in, it absolutely matches the content of your book because there are some people who try to cheat the system and, and water it down. So don't, don't do that. And uh, there is a second category you now that is like, for your kind of book overall in the Amazon bookstore, if you're in the top 100 for that, that's another level. And that's where you get the, the orange badge that uh, many times stays with you for a long time. And that bestseller category often catches Amazon's attention and they may contact you or you find you're selling a lot of books and a lot of opportunities come with that. So when you look at the ranking, there is that ranking of overall Amazon bestsellers. And uh, there are rankings for, for, for different categories. Now, I have had a book, the Design to Win Roadmap, the original Design to Win Roadmap, since October 2018, it has been on the Amazon bestseller list for two of its categories. Now, considering that the categories change every hour, <laughs> that is amazing. And as well, we have had several authors that I have helped to publish their books and they've made the top 100 in their category. Just last week, Sunday, we published the Kindle version of the book Geared to Live, 12 Keys to Happiness by Donovan and Faith Thomas. They are the editors. And within less than 24 hours, it made it to the bestseller list. And it is because of what I just shared with you. You have to know the right category and what they did as well. They had an event to coincide with the publication. So if you use an event that is almost like a launch, and so you have many persons now aware of what is happening and they can go and do the downloads, and that is a genius way. So another way to do it, having put it in the right category, you have to tell people that the book is out. So it was International Happiness Day, and so they had a live webinar and told people about it and promoted it. So that helped to bring traffic to the book and that helped them. Another thing that persons did, what they did as well was to reduce the price of the book. Now, some persons put it at 99 cents and they run a Kindle campaign. Some put it at 4.99 and then later 9.99. And I do most nonfiction books, but that's not, that is another strategy. So tell a network about it. You can reduce the price. That's tip number three. Tip number one is to find the right category. Tip number two, tell a network about it. Tip three, reduce the price. Do content marketing, mean that you're going to begin to teach and offer tips from the book and you email your list. And it could have been just like in that webinar. It could have been that they were talking about the principles of happiness or discussing a chapter from the book. So don't just say, buy my book, buy my book. And number five, do a live stream or videos or create an event around it. One of my friends, is Patricia Ridwa, when she released her book, Retirement, The Journey and the Destination, a planning guide, she had several Facebook lives, like a launch where she actually dressed up and talked about the content of the book. And then she had it as, as 99 cents for about two days. And that gave enough people the opportunity to download. And then you can write a review. And then she made it to the top 10. She may have been even number one a couple of times. And so those are some of the tips. You wanna make sure as well that your book cover is attractive, that you have a good blurb or book description, which is essentially a sales copy. So all of those factors are necessary. You could do it as part of Amazon, being exclusive to Amazon, where 
you are in their Kindle Select program for the 90 days. So you run the, the, the promotional thing that would help. Some people actually, they also run ads. I don't do that and it still works. No, you may be wondering, so how have you kept that book on the Amazon bestseller list for almost three years? And I have multiple books right now that are still in the top 100. Well, one of the things is that I made that book, the Kindle version, Designed to Win Roadmap, Your Winning Life and Career Compass. I made it perma-free. And to make it perma-free, I used Draft Digital to distribute the book wide, and then I made it free on the platforms that Draft Digital used. And then now I am able to now go back to Amazon and ask Amazon to price match. And uh, I do that because I want that book to be a lead magnet for me. And it's part of my marketing strategy. So that is why it is still on the bestseller list. But I have other books too that... I did not make free that uh, are on the list just the same. So you want to drive traffic to it. And so there are a number of ways. Final thing I want to address with becoming the Amazon bestseller is this. Is there a specific time to do it? Well, you can do it at any time. One of the best period is in the first 30 days of the book because Amazon has a way of paying attention to books that are newly re released. So a number of my authors, they are able to get it, um, make the new release. They get number one in new releases or things like that. But with my book, Design to Win Roadmap, I did my bestseller campaign. The book was released in March. I did a campaign in October. That's several months after. So you can run the same strategy and campaign when the book is being released or after. It doesn't matter. Just put the campaign together. Some persons might want to even run it every 90 days. Once they're in Kindle Select as part of their price promo thing where they reduce the price of the book. I've had persons get it at full price. We tend to do it for the, the Kindle book. I have had authors who did it for their paperback. In fact, my legacy journal made it to number two on the Amazon bestseller charts when it was released and it's only in hardcover. So you can do it with the, the ebook, you can do it with your paperback or hardcover book. And that book was at full price, it's 30 odd dollars. So it depends on the category, it depends on the campaign. So it's the category and the campaign that you build around it to get there. So I trust that this episode has been helpful. Found it useful, do let me know. And I will give you a shout out. I want to shout out Antoinette. Antoinette is a member of my Entrepreneur Secrets Academy. And every week she provides feedback on the episode. If it's even just to say thank you for that. So Antoinette Scarlett, a Jamaican in the diaspora in Canada. Thank you so much for consistent listening and providing feedback. And so that's it for today's program. Share it with a friend, share it with an author, and uh, I look forward to being back next week as we inch closer <laughs> to the one-year mark. We're going to have an interview for next week. The program might be a little longer. I'm going to share a pre-recorded interview from the Caribbean Entrepreneur Summit with Nerissa Golden as she talks about what it really takes to start a business to to thrive in your business and build a business to last so you don't want to miss that this is ruth taylor reminding you to take charge of your publishing go pen it to win it and dominate entrepreneurship tough for now until next time i'm tamara francis educator and editor 
Don't forget to rate, review, subscribe, and share the podcast with your network. If you'd like to increase your impact and income with books, visit authorpreneursecrets.com for more resources including the books, Can It to Win It, and Authorpreneur Secrets. Join the Authorpreneur Secrets Academy membership group for courses, coaching, and community support to write, publish, and win with books. Enrollment is in January and June each year. You may also sign up for one of Ruth's Publishing Made Easy courses or private coaching to write and publish your next book. Until next time, go pen it to win it.